Welcome traders to another tick mill earnings season preview with me Patrick Munley. Before we jump into today's presentation, as always want to adhere to the risk disclaimer. Most pertinent to today's content is the views and opinions expressed by me are solely mine. They are not indicative or representative of those held by tick mill UK or tick mill Europe Limited. Okay, let's jump into today's report and we are looking at Google Parent Alphabet due to announce earnings after the close of New York trading today. And its estimates are for an earnings per share of $1.25 on $71.03 billion of revenue. Noteworthy, there is an earnings whisper on the street of EPS potentially coming in as high as $1.29. In terms of the key metrics, Google Cloud is one of Alphabet's primary business segments and a key measure of the company's performance. The cloud segment provides developers with a highly scalable and reliable platform for building, testing and deploying applications. It also offers workspace collaboration tools, including apps like Gmail, Docs, Drive, Calendar, Meet and more. Revenue is generated through the collection of fees related to those services. The cloud market is much less saturated for Alphabet than its search business and is growing quickly. Competition is nonetheless fierce, particularly with major rivals including Microsoft Azure and Amazon's web services. Google Cloud revenue surged 50% or more in six of the past 15 quarters. This growth has slowed somewhat in recent periods, though dropping to 35.6% for the second quarter of this year from 53.9% in the first. Estimates suggest that this pace of growth will further slow for Q3 down to potentially 33.8%. Let's take a look at some of the stocks uh, patterns, statistical patterns around earnings releases. Google shares have moved higher in the immediate aftermath of earnings, eight out of 12 previous reports. On average, the stock moved 2.9% in the first day of trading after the company's earnings release. Based on the previous 12 earnings releases, Google is more likely to trade higher one day after earnings for an average gain of 0.2%. On average, the stock has moved higher by 1.9% one week after earnings. So let's see what the options market is pricing in in terms of volatility. Looking for a 6.3% move on earnings, uh, the stock has averaged 4.8% move in recent quarters. From a flow and sentiment perspective, Notable buying 13,829 contracts of the $105 call uh, expiring this Friday. That's $105 uh, call expiring on Friday. Options order flow in general uh, is bullish and 96.6% of the analyst coverage heading into the earnings is also bullish. Google share price has drifted down 9.3% post earnings announcement. Using the last 12 quarters of data, the average drift between earnings announcement is actually about 3%. Let's pull up the Google charts here and see if we can identify any potential near-term trading opportunities. So uh, we have, in line with broader market sentiment, a decent recovery underway. And versus the swing low here at the $97.75, I have a technical upside objective of 106.68, which is an equality target versus this current swing structure. So from a technical perspective, I've looked for any close through 103.30 to engage on the long side, targeting that 106.60. Noteworthy, we have a gap here up at 110.77. So if we can get through that 106.68, that would become a, a magnet for the markets. We also have monthly projected range resistance, 110.40s. At this stage, uh, any loss of the 97.70s would be a bearish development, opening a retest of the prior cycle lows down to 94.45. And any move through there would then actually open up a downside equality objective on the weekly time frame uh, to the high volume nodes and equality objective versus this broader swing structure here gives us 73.48 as a downside objective. But for now, I'm constructive on the stock, looking for that move through the 103s to target 106.60s and then onto the uh, potential gap fill up towards 110. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.